So I just watched one of Michael Leafy's videos on Facebook about the fact that we should not be discouraged and we should just fight against all the bull crap that we've had recently with net neutrality, uh, Article 13, and the COPPA Act that's going on right now. But no, 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 Louie. It's just my dog trying to get in my room. But anyway, I mean, I do agree with him that we should just stand up and fight and not going, oh, oh well, we try, we should not do it. This is America. We have the freedom to do certain things. Well, not everything, but most certain things that we can actually do. You know what I mean? If you don't know what COPPA is, COPPA stands for Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, where they make anything kid-friendly. I mean, they have the laws for that, and YouTube just got them, so nowadays you're required to tell them if your videos are kid-friendly, or if they're not, or if you want your channel to be reviewed or to be held for review but it's just what we got to do unfortunately but, but you know if susan wajiki or wahiki I, I don't know how to pronounce her last name but if this is what she really wants and such like to make youtube kid friendly when they already have youtube kids as a kid friendly channel why can't we just keep youtube kids family friendly instead of the main youtube channel that most little kids are not usually allowed on that's it's weird and worst of all like if your ch if your channel is no longer commercially viable they'll just take it down like why why the heck you, you want to do that like seriously i mean i'm gonna say this once again but why the heck would you want to go ahead and do that even for the people who just started their channels and when they are just reaching more and more subscribers but like why i mean for me, I monetize my videos, like I make money off of YouTube, but if they don't want me to be on there anymore, I, I would be shocked. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually try to kick me out of YouTube for no other reason, but the CEO of YouTube has gone way too far, but but I, I gotta tell you, if she wants to make like a kid-friendly channel, I'd rather have her to do it on her own website, not YouTube itself. I mean, we already got YouTube kids, but still. Plus, ever since it went to effect back in 2017, we've had this new policy where you're no longer allowed to cuss, when you're no longer allowed to use anything for adults. Unless your channel is meant to be kid-friendly, then you wouldn't use those, but... Also, you wouldn't do anything with, like, to show anyone the reality of the real world, or anything, or any of the morals, or any of that conflict, or whatsoever. Like, I'm, I'm not joking. Like, we gotta show those kids those very important stuff, like, if they wanna watch something that's really, that's really, that's, like, very serious in reality. I mean, not all the time, but, like, but seriously. It's like, they're not trying to tell people the good morals or the out of the reality of the warrior world or some or anything racial or whatsoever, or any of that history. It's just utter garbage. And they also ban you from like cussing and from like using that same censored beep. You have to use those kid friends. Blah, blah, blah. Seriously. I don't really mean to say the word seriously a lot, but it is so annoying that Susan has done this. Like, I, I'm, I mean, the CEO of YouTube, like, I, I'm not joking. It's, it's, it's been going rough. Um, most of our videos have been demonetized for that, even though that some of our videos are not meant to be kid friendly and some of them are but with the channels they do depend but still for me i'm mostly mixed but if they're gonna go ahead and just bash people especially like taking away most of their freedom of speech online when you're not like when you're not trying to go ahead and just let the kids go ahead and just try to watch or something like you're trying to blame the creator for anything like that that's that's such bull like, I'm not happy about it. Even the fact that, that, that they're just banning us from profanity in most of the videos, they're just trying to take away our freedom of speech. I mean, there are some times where you cannot do any of that, anything like that at all or anything, but you have to say the right term. But but you're just trying to ban us. If we break any of the rules, we're going to have a consequence. And that's, yeah, I mean, that's how it works. But still, with the new rules on YouTube, I find them to be such bull. It's not cool. The people who said that they're stupid are right. Well, not themselves. I'm talking about the new rules, but still. Like, it's not like that we're Cuba or South Korea or North Korea or anything or China, but but still. A lot of other countries like New Zealanders, Americans, Australians, Europeans, Canadians, we have the freedom. 
Like, why can't we just have most of the freedom? If not 100%, but still. Hey, come here, snuggle up. You want the freedom? Dude, you want the freedom speech too, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that feels good. I mean, yeah, guys, but with that stupid greedy change right here, it doesn't make anything great at all as what the people at the CEO think. But for me, I mean, to be honest, if I were a CEO, I would not go ahead and do any of that crap or whatsoever. If I want to make a website kid-friendly, I would do it my own way, on, like, my own website. Not on other people's companies I don't even own, but, like, still... It's just, it's never a good idea to go ahead and screw everything up like that. Even on the main channel, like, even though it's on some that kids are not allowed on, but, you know, it's it's just one of the most disgusting things any of the CEO people would ever do on, like, YouTube or something. It is 100% disgusting. But, like, I knew from the start that it, that it, it is a really bad idea for Susan Wachiki or Rakiki, CEO of YouTube, to go ahead and just create those new rules that a lot of people hate and think it's unfair. Well, I I'm with them, but not Susan. But anyway, that's all I gotta say. Um, overall, the COPPA thing is just kind of disgusting to me. And everyone else who doesn't really care for that one for YouTube. And those new laws that we have that aren't that are not really kind of fair to us. It's like the segregation crap all over again. You know what I mean? But like in a modern way. So, leave a comment below on what you think of the video. What are your thoughts on the COPPA thing that's going on and all that crap that's going on here on YouTube? I mean, I'm, I may stay on YouTube, but I don't know if I'm gonna either leave YouTube or go on, go to Vidly or something like I did last year, but I gotta be honest with you, I, I, I may go ahead and just stay on YouTube if I want, but, you know, it's up to me. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, so be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for other things coming your way. And this is me, Byron, signing off. Peace.